Welcome back to Talk Back, the comeback series. We are with Samantha Sir. Let's move on to the, the governor rule era. These are the allegations you made during your time with, uh, during governor rule. There was a six day silence. You were silent in the beginning and then you came out and this was the story which was published. Tasir breaks silence on governor rule in the dawn. And this is what you blame them for. This is what you blamed the, not them rather, Shabazz Sharif for. Uh, 80 million rupee um, uh, funding, using 80 million rupees for, uh, from public funds for personal pub publicity. Seven official buildings being used as his secretariat. This is huge citing. Three of his family residences being used as his camp office. The PSFP, the Punjab Food Subsidy Program, uh, being used for political purposes. You went on with a nice solid quote that the state of governance in the province was appalling, dot, 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 you built up on it. Yet, he was reappointed, probably with the help of the prime minister at some point. Did you feel that you needed to stand by these allegations? Do you stand by these allegations? Because there was no follow-up from you when Shabash Sharif came back into office. We were going back into a reconciliation mode, and that's why, you know, we put the things behind us. As, as people say, we turned the page. But Governor, I, can, I can quote a lot of things that the, the Sharif and the Noon League has said about the People's Party also. And they've also gone back and continue to work. So I think this is, this is what you call political uh, flexibility. So if I had some allegations, it's, I'm, not the, I'm not the first person, I'm not the last person. Governor, you used an interesting word, political flexibility. It's rather flexible for a governor to say, this guy is corrupt, he's taken 80 million rupees from here, he's used buildings for this one, he's used a, a food program for poor people for political purposes, right? That's why. Do you want, me to, do you want me to list all the allegations that others have put on other people? Not at all, Governor. So, My thing is that, so I, at that time, you took an ethical stand during I, the I, I, took, I took a stance and, and now I saying gave some information. Well, I said certain things and I'm sure I said other things also. This is not maybe the only no, this thing. This is just I one. Said. This is just no, one no, article I've said I've many picked things. Out. I've, you know, to be quite honest, if you want a long list, I can help you saying more things. But why did you turn around? Why because because I, the party felt that they did want they, they wanted now to put this behind and they wanted to end an era of confrontation. How does that make so, you feel ethically? It's all right. In Turning the page you, of corruption, alleged you, corruption. You, you have to be prepared to let things go. Now, you versus Ethazar's Essen. Now, I'm not versus Ethazar's Essen. You <laughs> where versus, is that coming? <laughs> I'll tell you where. I'll tell you where. I'll tell you where. You and Ethazar's back in the day were regarded. You you had neighborly constituencies. You guys were in the no, same. No, no. He fought. He won the national assembly, and I won the provincial. Yeah, assembly. but the constituencies were around no, the same was, part. You guys yeah, were yeah. regarded as both liberal, educated guys. The the young hope, the I young hope, guns of the PPP. I hope we still are. I'm not young anymore. <laughs> But here's the thing, right? Both of you politically have diverged. Today, Ethazaz represents something completely different, ideologically. Salman Tasir is on a whole other level, ideologically. And now, Ethazaz is meeting the president for whatever purposes. How do you feel about that? Ethazaz is in the People's Party. Uh, if he meets the president or the prime minister, there's no problem with that. He, he, he has been attending CEC meetings also, where 